Hi, we're having a chat today about settlement agreements for employees. I'm Matthew Sigsworth. I'm a solicitor in EMG's disputes and litigation team. Uh, and with me is Graham Shannon, um, my colleague and also a solicitor in our disputes and litigation team. But importantly, Graham leads on employment law matters. Hi Matthew, yes, um, and I thought it would be helpful today uh, to talk about uh, settlement agreements in the context of redundancies. I've certainly noticed over the last uh, couple of weeks um, a lot of inquiries from employees who've been offered settlement agreements uh, by their employees who um, are contemplating making them uh, redundant. Yeah, okay, so um, let, let's imagine I'm an employee my employer has offered me a settlement agreement to make me redundant. What does that mean? Well, in a nutshell, it means that the employee has uh, decided that a redundancy situation exists, and that can either be because they've decided to close down uh, the uh, workplace that you're working in, um, if you're working for a company with multiple offices, it may mean that they've just decided to close down the business altogether, or it could just be that they've decided that they need fewer employees. And that's a real concern against the current pandemic where a lot of people have been working from home and employers have reached the decision, well, they can get by with fewer staff. Um, so it's going to arise in that situation. Uh, and traditionally, employers, if faced with redundancy situations, uh, will go down a fairly traditional route, which involves warning and consulting with employees, meeting with them, deciding to make them redundant, and then potentially allowing them to appeal that decision. It's a laborious process, it's time consuming, and there's a lot of potential banana skins and, and potholes on the way. Um, and as a result of that, employers um, uh, more frequently are offering employees uh, settlement agreements, uh, which are a much quicker way of bringing the employment relationship to an end. Yeah. Um, so again, I'm an employee. Uh, my employers uh, offered me a settlement agreement. And, and it's, as far as I can make out, it's a deal. So there's a deal on the table. Do I have to accept what my employer has offered and, and, and also what happens if I don't accept it? Well, first of all, you don't have to accept it. It's an offer uh, like uh, any other. Um, you may want to uh, challenge um, the offer. You might want to ask your employer to give you a little bit more in terms of compensation than that has been offered. Um, but ultimately, if uh, that's rejected and your employer is not willing to give you a better deal, if you reject the settlement agreement, then the employer in most cases is going to go down the traditional route of warning with you, consulting, uh, meeting with you, and then potentially um, terminating your employment fairly by reason of redundancy. Right. Uh, again, um, I'm an employee. One of the things my employer has told me about the settlement agreement is that I have to go and get my own solicitor. Uh, before I can sign up to the settlement agreement. Um, wh why is that? And, and what help could you give me with uh, a settlement agreement, Graham? For a settlement agreement to be legally binding, um, it has uh, to be signed off uh, by an independent um, uh, solicitor. Uh, so an employee coming in to see me with a settlement uh, agreement um, is going to have an agreement in which the employer agrees to make a contribution towards the legal fees in getting that advice in the first place. Uh, and my job in terms of advising a client on a settlement agreement is to first of all make sure they understand the nature of the agreement they're entering into um, and also um, to enable me uh, to understand whether the deal that they're being offered is a reasonable one and is a fair one in all of the circumstances. In a lot of cases it will be, um, in some cases it won't be, but without the benefit of that of advice, um, an employee really isn't going to know whether the employer is acting fairly uh, or isn't. Yeah, okay, that, that's really helpful, Graham, thank you. And, and just if, um, if anyone's watching this uh, video, they've got, 
questions, any advice about a settlement agreement or employment law uh, matters generally, um, do get in touch um, with us at EMG and we'd be very happy to help.